the Kegarami gave us the money, so they keep out, you know, give us the food that people, the people need. Well, because a lot of people, you know, need help, and they so have to have other people who have to get and go out and get the food to take it to them. You never know. You know, sometimes life throws you a curveball, and before you know it, you're out here trying to get something to eat. You know that the work that's being done here is going to help possibly your neighbor. Go to my Lewis. If I can be the light in someone's darkness, if I can make a difference in just some small little way in someone's life each Tuesday, it's worth it. M.I. Lewis has a long history, started in the early 60s with Reverend Lewis in his house, basically, because he saw a need for food. M.I. Lewis Social Service Center is a nonprofit agency in Dickinson, Texas, and we assist with emergency assistance for rent and utilities, as well as a food pantry. It was something that was started by the Reverend M.I. Lewis, and he was feeding the neighborhood out of his own home. It then grew from something that was operating out of a pastor's home into a social services center that now helps with rental assistance, utilities, prevents people from getting evicted, and making sure they feed them. Jerry Ziegler invited me to, to, to get involved with M.I. Lewis. Living in Dickinson my whole life, I was aware of, of M.I. Lewis, but once I got involved and uh, really saw what M.I. Lewis did in our community and the communities around us for those in need, it just felt like a place I wanted to be. So we are part of WAVE, which is Woven Academics Vocational Education. We go out to our community, and we continue to practice the skills that we've been working on at school. In my Lewis, like when you help the community, and you go like drop food out to the people so you can help them. They know about things that are available in the community, and they've experienced, and they see clients come through, and they see that the bags that we have put together, that they take home, and it's like, wow, we did that, and we were a part of it. I always knew I wanted to do this after I retired. I've always enjoyed, you know, thought everything they did at M.I. Lewis was very rewarding to the community, so I wanted to be a part of it. I picked M.I. Lewis just because I believe, I believe in what they stand for. I believe in the need f for a center like M.I. Lewis for our community. And I knew that each and every Tuesday, I could make a difference in someone's life. It's the fun part, going to shopping for just what they need, because you know it's not just, you know, what, what do you need today? It's an immediate need, and uh, that's that's cool. Used to be known as a pantry fairy because I would come by and, and stock the shelves at nighttime. Uh, after a busy day, come by and, and just uh, you know to, to help out. Uh, we just come out here to be the hands and feet of Christ and help others out that are less fortunate. And maybe one day when they get on their feet and they get the opportunity, they can come out here and serve and help others as well. We serve out here every third Saturday of every month. The community is always here supporting us volunteering. So without the volunteers, we would not be able to do what we do. They are vital to the services here at MI Lewis. We desperately need food, especially during this time of COVID. Our food bank is running very, very low because before they could only receive food six times a year, and now because of COVID, we're letting them get food every single month. And so we desperately need food, we need people to volunteer. Um, the volunteers can make such a huge difference because that's just employees that the center doesn't have to hire. When people want to think about someone needing food or rental assistance or any kind of social services, sooner or later somebody's going to refer them to M.I. Lewis because their track record speaks for itself. It stays in our community and it helps people in our community. What we need in this community, we need to make people whole. Whether you donate your time or donate your talents and your gifts, then we're here for you. It does my heart good. It makes me feel good to know that that we're able to serve and help those people in our communities and the area around us because of the kind generosity of, of the volunteers and those people that help us with funding. We need your help at MI Lewis. If you can't donate financially, donate your time. For more information, visit our website.
To learn more or donate, visit milewisctr.org. MI Lewis Social Service Center, more than just a food pantry.